That's me. My name is Mike. I live in New Jersey. I'm 37. I'm at work, focusing my camera right here. With summer. <laughs> this is me driving home from work. Well, actually, I'm stuck in traffic. Here I am driving home from work through beautiful New Jersey. That's my son Jackson. He's five. He likes watches. Apparently, he's a real guru. He doesn't even know who this man is. There's my dog, Brady. My beautiful wife, Mallory. And this is our story of how we had our baby girl, Emerson. All right, so we are four days away from baby number two, our little girl, Emerson. Are well, we saying the name? Oh. Yeah. But we're four days from my due date doesn't necessarily mean we're four days away. We could be f well, we could be one day away, or we could be. Well, this baby's coming out in four days because that's Trump's birthday. <laughs> you, know, you know. Would you take the? Would you try to give the baby back? No, or I would put just it back in. Cross my legs. I will not let her come out on Trump's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> So we just had a little bit of an issue. Mallory was sitting on the couch. We were getting ready to watch a show. She went into the bathroom. She felt like a gush. It turns out that it was blood. Uh, and it didn't seem, to her, it didn't seem to appear like it was blood from like what is typically called a bloody show. This was bright red blood. We called the doctor. He's gonna call us back. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna just head to our hospital, make sure nothing, you know, severe is happening. No, we just left. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye. How did that sound to you? It sounded like the bloody show to him. Okay. Every blood's gonna look different, not every blood's gonna look the same. Okay. You have to keep that in mind. Right. And he didn't seem like there was anything wrong with going there and getting monitored right. either. too much. I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm freaking out. Okay, don't freak out. You're yeah. in the right space. Okay, good. So don't take a deep breath. And don't freak out. Okay. Now we change. Okay, great. And we're going to check on the baby. Okay. That was quite the uh, cliffhanger there. Sometimes it's hard to find them at first, but she's there. Everything is good. Yeah, she's good. Like my outfit. It does. I like that lasagna stain. Ew, don't put that on air. <laughs> So uh, we had a little bit of a scare there, uh, but we were officially uh, admitted into the hospital tonight. So I'm running home. I'm going to grab some essentials that we're going to need. They're going to have to induce her. And basically what the doctor said is with the fluid being low, that it was best to keep her uh, as a precaution and just uh, make sure they get this baby out as safely and as quickly as possible.
So we've been doing regular contractions, I would say, since 1 o'clock? But no movement yet. No, zero. But she said I'm starting to efface, which is good, but just no dilation. It's okay. It's okay. It always gets worse before it gets better, as they say, right? Yeah, I guess so. So it's a little after 8 o'clock. You just had your epidural. Yes, hallelujah. Feel good? Feels Look at that so smile. I haven't, I'm so happy. I haven't seen that smile I'm this so morning yet. I'm so happy like, to hear her <laughs> little heartbeat and know she's okay and to have no pain and like be able to like hopefully take a nap now and just let my body dilate. Let's do this. I'm All excited. right. So it's now uh, 9.30, uh, we went to sleep for about, I don't know, an hour, maybe 45 minutes, a doctor came in as I was sleeping and tell us the good news. We are five centimeters dilated already and she's made amazing progress, they were really surprised and they think she could be here soon, wow. could go pretty fast now. Maybe before lunch, so we could have Jersey Mike's for, for lunch possibly? Yes, all the deli meat. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're going to start pushing here. Yeah. Any moment. This is it. I can feel her down there. She's yeah. ready. This is game time for you. Game time. Yes, it is. We can't wait to meet you, baby girl. Aw, mommy. Harder. Almost there. Right harder. there. Right there. Don't Four, be afraid. Harder. Five, harder. Harder. Six, harder. Even harder. Seven. More. Eight. Oh, no. You're doing it. Here. Oh, here. Take a huge breath. You got it. And tear down as hard as you can. Here you go. Five, six, seven. You can do it. Take a deep breath. Three, four. Harder. Come, come, come. You can do it, Mallory. It's coming out. It's coming out. You can do this. Big breath. That's one. One. Two. Harder. Pull back on your legs. You did it. Oh, wishes. She said, Don't you have this here? Who's excited to go see their baby sister? All right, let's do this. Eileen, you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. Hi, Oh, I missed you so much.
Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. That's all right. Welcome home, Emerson Mangan. And she's gonna want to do the same thing that most people do when they get home, and that's eat. So that's it. She's home. That's our dog, Charlie. He wasn't in the movie, so I put him in. I know she's going to hate this shot of her eating Cheetos, but I wanted to give a special thanks to my wife, Mallory. Without her, none of this is possible. I love you, babe.